I thought I would um, use this as my jumping off point. However, the irony is, snow scene, this is not a snow scene, this is more like a fall scene. I don't really like painting snow scenes. <laughs> what I wanted to emphasize here and, and here, and with this little top, is that my approach is to um, just use my photographs as a jumping off point. I love the rhythm and the movement in the um, landscape. And I love the little globes that are formed by the snow catching in the dried Queen Anne's lace. They're so pretty. It reminds me of allium that I grow in the, in the summertime in the garden. Allium is a type of onion, and when it goes to seed, it forms these round, gorgeous seed balls that are kind of a purple color. And anyway, so using those elements, the linear the movement of, uh, of the land and those round shapes poking, poking up here and there. I then painted this. And so um, I, you know, I used those similar elements, but I made it a, a fall scene because I, I was just in, intrigued and drawn to these colors. And uh, I love this burnt sienna. It's you know a kind of a it's a brown with a lot of red in it, and it has it's a very it, it's very prevalent in the landscape here. In this, in the, it's prevalent in the water. Uh, we have a lot of manganese in our water in our streams, and s some rivers and creeks have a have a uh, color. What I wanted to uh, emphasize in this by showing you this is that when you paint from a photograph, it's, it's for me anyway, I really like to use that photograph as a jumping off point and not do a literal reproduction of what the photograph is. There are often elements or something or there's a feel about it or there's something about the photograph that maybe takes you back to the feeling you had when you stood there in that place um, and so I start the painting and then I set the photograph aside and the painting then leads me and takes on really a life of its own because it gets to the point where I put down a stroke, I stand back, I look at the work and then decide what the next thing is going to be. And then it becomes more about the painting and less about the photograph. I stand back and I'm no longer thinking about the original um, scene. I'm thinking, okay, how can I move the elements or add or take away elements in this painting that will make it more successful, how can I, you know, push parts back, bring parts forward. So I'll say goodbye for now. Thanks for watching my video.